to uh, to get a kill on this top lane at all, because it's a Shadow Demon and your, your Sven's most likely going to only have level 1 stun for a while. You just expect Ice 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 to level that Great Cleave, so I see pretty much no kill potential there. Alliance, on the other hand, they are going to be rotating up Ake. Pretty much a bit of a go on to Phantom Rare, looking towards the Shadow Demon, yet to skill now, skills the Disruption, holding back one of them, but Ake looking to follow through and he's going to get himself first blood. Ake with a top notch rotation. What I'm lane though, I want Levin. And in rather deep onto Bulldog. He's gonna have old Lanham coming in as well. And Bulldog looks to be in trouble. Spirit into the stomp. One more touch from the Sand King. Neho quick to punish Alliance elsewhere across the map. s come down. Gonna look to start to stack up an Apalm on old Levin. And old Levin, he's not got any points of course at this stage in Sandstorm. The S4 with a good TP to make something off the back of Bulldog's death and getting himself a tasty bit. Just harassing old chicken back. CS wise, as we can indeed see, because of the presence of Ake, it's been going very well for loading in the mid lane. 21 for 7, top of the CS at the moment, and well ahead of the Mirana. The mid lane, going very nicely. We've obviously seen old Lanham started to look to put a bit more pressure on the mid, with the presence of the other timer. Moving in on old Chicken and Eli. At, at the top of the board. If he gets an earlier blink timing than he did in game one, you know, we saw how effective he could be on the Sand King before old 11. Oh, old 11 Sand King is. And I, think the, I think the only reason. They didn't ban it, it's because of the Nyx. They had the last ban Nyx instead because they picked that Rider. It's a nice stack here. We'll see who's able to get their hands on it. Uh, looks like S4 might actually clear most of it with the 13 Apalm stacks. And we will get the, the lion's share of it. Levin and Old Lanham coming across. Let me see if they can catch S4 out. I want to play this, Old Levin. Vision from Old Lanham Spirit now jumping in. Gonna be as well. The five blocks look through, but it's already been cast if the damage. Too much for S4. Rose, you don't really Chicken. have to hit the PA directly. You can just hit like the bear or something and kill the PA in that way. Yeah, I think uh, given the state of the game and having that extra Warcry armor as well against stuff like PA and Lone Druid is going to be great. BGM in trouble. Three heading down. Femoria Lanham ready to back up. Old 11. BGM. On the Ogre, maybe tanky, not quite tanky enough one to... one that old 11 had versus a 9 in the Blink Dagger. I'm assuming he'll have a lot more impact than we can see it here. GM again, caught out alone. Old Chicken, old 11. And he's nice nice waiting for some kind of counter. Kind of tries to jump on old 11. S4 is there as well with the lasso, and that's a big catch. Old 11 will be... Mid lane. Where they try something, but at the same time, E-Home. Old Chicken, old Lanham. Nice, 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 ready. At the same time, top lane, Femre. Look to set this up, all 11! Go for the straight BKB, or, or Dukes, but there's still a chance Loader may go for something else first. What we've been seeing a lot is the Deso Rush, and then into BKB, just so you get that bonus damage, and you, you have to pick the fight straight here. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, home Jumping in! So he is gonna be, uh, he's gonna be fine this time. I'm surprised they didn't go for that. Maybe because of the old lasso. Absolutely, and uh, straight the into the Ancient stack. Alliance, they're gonna come too late for the Ancient, but they maybe have to punish him whilst he's low, and indeed, S4 jumps in. Eyes, 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 down the silence. The multi card Femre as well. Loader gets the, the double. Absolutely, they don't even feel that they need to wait for Femre and Eyes, eyes, eyes. They know between these three heroes, they can do an insane amount of damage. Epicenter the ready. Let's see what the jump in is like. Old 11 finds Loader. Going immediately for the Epicenter follow up as well. Loader in a lot of trouble. The arrow hits as well. They've found the PA. EGM going for the TPR. They've got anything to catch me. Yes, they do. The stomp from Lanham there. And Alliance, as quick as they find two kills, will be quick to give away two of their own. Old 11 finds the double. This game is currently escaping up to be a bit of a bloodbind. Looking to jump in onto old Lanham and again. See the three members of e home they but he's trying to find something to get the setup. Onto Loader, Epicenter as well. They need a follow through stun potentially. Loader jumps across and away, but Femre is there with someone who Ice, 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 turning up as well. Takes down Loader, S4 in trouble. Flame breaks, Ice, Ice, Ice away from him, trying to hide in the trees. S4 gets the blink off. S4 is pulling him away from the objective. And they actually finish off the killy hunt, they're chasing him. They're gonna have vision on him now. Old 11 gets the burrow strike off. Top, on Lanham. He's just gonna drop the ult. The CP's coming through as They can kill Bulldog. Yes! Oh. Yes! Yeah. E-Home! Absolutely perfect. And that was before he spent his relic. Memory may have been left alone. There's not gonna be a lot of safe room. You do see Ice 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 coming across. Maybe he can look for the counter play. Ice Ice Ice, does he want to jump in? In a couple of seconds, but already the damage being done to this tier two. 
And still just 200 gold away from that Radiance. They really need it on Bulldog's Bear. That disruption. See if they can do this though, indeed it may. Play against them, yes, with the old down onto Eyesight Side. So rare. With a bit of a blunder. And it cost them. Honestly, I feel like without magic immunity and fights, he's just gonna explode. Like I think he like BKB is mandatory at this point if you want to fight. Wappy coming in, old eleven, look to jump in mid. Score out Bulldog for Bulldog, save for the time being. And yeah, the Ewa using their tools but not finding the initial pickoff. I'm gonna stick around for the long haul, looking for EGM with the demonic purge, jumping in EGM's down at the same time. They've lost the Sand King. And another trade that Elias are gonna be very happy with. And Ehun just not hitting the exact combos that they need to in the in these fights. So they didn't get anything more though. Still sticking around, jumping forward, pulled on. Could be one to fall as well, but the Savage draw on which the back memory. Looking to hold him in place with his trick, but eyes, eyes, eyes! The old oh. AK rips him to bits! Alliance chasing down from all the stomp from all that was there. They're looking for the turn, jumping the off, the blast line of the star storm, bursting them down quickly. Eom, recovering, recovering control of this fight. Permit, may just tick down and he will. Yeah, so ultimately, I think that Ehome are probably fine with it because they traded uh, Sand King, Red Rare, and then Ice 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 for that. It's okay still. Especially considering the fact that they're the ones who maintain the map control. Yeah. Yeah. 11 and Indeed, as soon as Lasso comes on full down, S4 immediately jumping in. Multi cut just outside the office. E Ehome's line up at the center here. And on 11, jumping on TGM. TP's coming through from Ehome. I like they're still around here. Looks like they may just stack EGM. Let him go, but EGM, he's gonna make this hard for Ehome. Moonlight pops as well. Oh, he's going for the TP. Is he gonna make it? The sweet. I mean, they don't get caught first. Ehome, yeah. If Alliance lose one member at the start, it could be pretty painful, especially with that But he gets the BKB off Coda, jumping it onto our left, but the defensive disruption from Femre. But it can't finish up the kill. Now looks towards Femre himself, but the Elder Tyne Ult catching him out, slowing him down. Loader can't finish up the kill. Ehome surrounded, take him down. Loader's out. And alive, they may just lose more. AK dropping the Mystic Flare, but it's not going to get the kill. Oh, Chicken with a double kill. Ice 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 pulling very low, but Bulldog down. EO with a third, and maybe more as old 11, shifting four to S4. EGM's caught out of the tree line. EO find a fourth, and S4, the only one to get out by the looks of it, but he may not even do that as old 11. Still has a burrow strike. It looks like he's going to blink back. But not the fight that Elias were looking for, and in fact, they may just lose S4. Old Chicken, jumping across. Now he's going to come through, but of course, not going to reach S4. As he... well, moving over with the pings, but Ehom getting a position on the high ground, ready to fight, and all this could be paid for Elias. Jumping in, I'm not nice! Oh, they're already there! Two gone immediately on Elias, and it may even be more again. Loki just goes for the BKB TPL, he's going to make it. Get... AK on the other hand certainly isn't. Ehome finding everything and even for Bulldog caught out, brought down. And this game proving to be even more brutal for Alliance than game one, Andy. Man, they are just relentless, Ehome. Like these Sand King initiations. All right, we're, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. That's five though. Oh, man. As people have said, E-Home looking to be serious amounts of damage to Alliance's base. Mid's been cleaned up, they're looking towards the bottom. Maybe Alliance can have one more final start, and indeed they'll be tempted. S4 jumps in on Tyke, 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 bringing him back, but already they're falling so low. Akane's gone, S4. He's trying to get himself back as well under the cover of BKB. Oh, yeah. But Epic Dead are going and immediately on to Bulldog. 60 Evil seconds! playing super well right now. Oh, and they've got nothing straight in! Hake's disappeared off the face of the earth! S4 trying to bring back a purple ball of doom! Ice 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 again being saved by Fenrir. I mean, disruption or not, he wasn't dying there for sure. Three dead on Alliance. Oda pops the BKB, but he doesn't quite know what he can do with it here as he's just got to get himself back to the fountain. Alliance, 30 seconds before they have the final. Oh, no, 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 going into the fountain here. The old, the old. Oh, 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 oh loader. Oh, he's still probably going to die. Oh, Chicken, did he find him? No. He managed to blink back. S4. We can punish old Chicken. React and, and, and play to save whoever gets gone on. And the deep push from Alliance just isn't there as well with their hero selection. Oh, the bear. Oh. Blown up immediately, and there's no bear for 90 seconds. 
Old 11, just teasing there, see if we can get a latch. S4, we can get something here, maybe look for old chick, but old chick is because an old chick here. Three homers to just A click the base, and the game can be won. Jumping in again, the real load of all there goes to carry S4. Gets the latch off, but it doesn't matter, just dragging Eho closer to Ake. Ake's down. Going in for even more old 11. game for Alliance, E-Home, another day in the office for them, insane play, immaculate play, they just were not messing up today, E-Home, everything was perfect. Alliance gave them the heroes they wanted two games in a row, I feel, like sure, it's, it's hard to